know who's going in for each series? Um, you know, he'll, he'll say how, he, um, like he'll ask him, how do you feel? Can you go? Can you go? If not, you know, just my, that's the thing. We have, we have a lot of good players on the defensive line, and, you know, everybody's good, and, you know, just ready for whatever. So the number one thing is to keep fresh guys out there? Is that the top goal? Definitely, definitely. We all, we all can play. You know, that's the scary part. We all can play, so we're always going to have a, a fresh body inside. So do you lie sometimes if you want to keep playing? Do you see guys feel great even if you're tired? <laughs> you know, you, you can't be selfish. That's, that's one thing the guys say. Don't be selfish now. If you're tired, come on. Like, I want to get something too. So, no, you, if you're tired, you're tired. Come on out. But you lied maybe like one time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, are you on punt block? Um, well, when we go, when we go, um, our, when we go punt, punt safe. The defensive line is out there for right. Were you in block or safe? Uh, block? Um, we're in Rangers. So. No, you know what? We're, no, we're, we're in. I we're, guess what I'm saying. We're we're in, in, no, no, no. Okay. From your vantage point and, and defensively speaking, how big did, did anybody oh, think that that would that that would you know loom large in the game? Oh man, not at all. But you know they they, they coaches focus on, on special teams a lot during practices and meetings and this and that. Say how how much how special special teams are and um, how it could be the difference in the game. It's there with. You guys won the game last year on defense. I think it was 23-7 or whatever the final score was last year. Did you guys get a sense that you might have to do that again today? I mean, um, you know, um, you know, we just wanted to be there for the offense. We seen things weren't going good, and we just wanted to most importantly play good as a defense. That's what we did today, and we helped out the offense a lot. How tough do you think it is for the offense to get the turnovers that you guys force, and then not be able to do what they want with it? You know. Uh, you know, I, I guess it's just an off day for the offense. Um, you know, they're going to continue to get better. Um, I know they're going to be working hard this week and ready for Michigan State, and hopefully um, everything works out with them. What was the key to defending the spread today? You guys seem to handle it pretty well. Yeah, just, just playing aggressive. You know, we, we got aggressive guys on the um, on defensive line, just playing aggressive and, and running to the ball. Talk about your play that, that uh, caused fumble. Second week in a row, I think you've caused a fumble. Just uh, how important that is for the defense to get those turnovers. Uh, I... I I mean, you know, just just doing my job, you know, um, being where I'm supposed to be when called upon, and you know, good things will work out for it. Lawrence Wilson, if uh, something happens, he's going to miss the game or whatever his situation is. How big a blow would that be? You guys have played the whole second half without him today. Uh, you know, Lawrence is a, is a key player on this defense, and you know, uh, one thing about playing at Ohio State, you always get guys that that can back this, this equal talent that can back them up. So you know, hopefully Lawrence, um, he's a fire. He, I mean, Lawrence should be back. So I mean. You know, hopefully he'll be okay, but if not, you know, we'll, we'll get in there and we'll, we'll, we'll make up for it. If this was a sideways step today, coming off a big win against Wisconsin, you go to a tough place next week against a team that's on the roll. You know, we just got to prepare. Preparation, um, uh, hopefully work out in our favor and go out there and play hard and hopefully come back with a win. Are you guys on the defense? Are you A.J. Trapasso's biggest cheerleaders? Oh man, he's a good great. You know, um, he got that leg, got that nice boot, so yeah, definitely. What is it like when you're going out there and you just pin him down inside the five or inside the ten or something like that? What is that like for you to do? Oh man, it's it's it's, it's uh, drooling from the mouth. Just can't wait to get back out there and leave him down there and, and get our offense back on the field and score. You know, so he's like a he's like a, he's like a, a 12 player on defense. If you think about it. Are you familiar with the term trestle ball? Okay. Was that? Are you familiar with the term trestle ball? Just, <laughs> Just talk about that challenge next week going up there. I mean, they're identical record, six and one, three and zero in the Big Ten. First place in the conference will be on the line when you guys play. Just uh, how exciting do you think that's going to be next week? Uh, it's it's going to be a big game. You know, any any game on the road in the Big Ten is always a big game. And you know, it's probably going to be a hostile environment. We just got to focus on the task at hand and, and get better this week before that game. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.